Hey guys, Kay Ray here, and today we're going to be starting another, we are going to be starting another episode of Oxen Free. Alley, alley, Oxen Free! It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit, unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Of course. That's how it always works. Alex? Hey, still with us? No. You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. I can watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same time. So sassy. Oh, okay. What did I say? Little Miss... I can see and hear things at the same time. The cookies are great on Edwards Island. Used to be great, but you passed. Thank you. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. No, wait, what happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and blah, 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 they hit it off. Aw, that's downright adorable. Aw, that's cute. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um, I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so. Yeah. What? Does that make you to her, then? A, uh, second cousin? He's my stepbrother. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. No, that's no, weird. No, that's the weird that's part. That's weird. Isn't it like, the concept of just getting a new sister like a puppy, isn't it kind of awkward? <laughs> no, it's been totally bizarre. But just for the record, I don't consider you a pet. <laughs> Good. So... How do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic, grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blocks. <laughs> yeah, well, you don't see a man's toddler penis and not become best friends after that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Bond stronger than oak. Oh, that's amazing. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. <laughs> Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. Yeah, let's do it. Yay! And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk, right? Patient Zero, AIDS guy. Jonas. It means oppressor, right? Yeah, but I mean, my side's cancer, and it's not like my hair's falling out or anything. Uh... Here's good. Come yeah. on, Alex, join the fun. I'm coming, shut up. Nah, shut up. <laughs> we don't even look that great. close together. I'll magic erase all the words out and stuff, so don't worry. Asshole. <laughs> hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little no. portable one? Yeah, sure. of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? No. There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing, so tune into 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. 88.3, huh? The report. Huh. It's, uh, to the left of the dial. I hear it. I because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little out which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach, or whatever we call it now. But anyway, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby uh -huh. carrots. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. <laughs> Now we're we inside each other. Close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. Oh, 
If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. Undercook it? I have never heard anybody say that before. I won't undercook it. Okay, that was... This is so cute! And the music is freaking awesome. I say that as the music dies down and it goes silent, completely 100% silent. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. <laughs> yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. No. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so, Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. No. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. Last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just checking. Alright, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, Dad, I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Just... Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, but <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all good. No, it's, it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up you. Um, okay. This is clearly important. Though this is a really strange way or to start off... Or you can just go off the screen and Thanks, let him man. talk, and then we'll be right back I'll with him, like, relax. In case, whatever. <laughs> Ren seems nice. Everybody's it's so funny, sassy. You know? Reminds me of a guy I know back home. Yeah, I mean, he's harmless, but yeah, he's nice. Listen, Oops. I just wanted to grab you a... And the flag is flying, we are... funny. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. Oh. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old house, so this... Yeah, no problem. I like how they interrupt each other. That's a cool, like, aspect. I heard, um, I think from my mom. Why are you turning around like that? Went to jail. Dude. Dude. Yeah, dude. well, don't believe everything you hear. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. You only took, like, two seconds. It's kind of kitschy, right? It's kind of kitschy. Yeah, it's like a quiche. I don't know what that means. Uh, I think they block this off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure, either one. It's cool that they... Uh, if you nobody can... lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. <laughs> are you feeling bad for the car right now? <laughs> Oh my gosh. I like how it's cool that you can, like, look at things, but then, like, walk away so that you can continue oh, the story. I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, the, the, the um, the radio guy thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like, 102.3? I, I just want to see how it works. 102.3? Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea. The USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year under the command of Lieutenant James Earl Platman. On October 28, 1943, it was sunk by the Japanese sub-chaser Tokusada, some 25 miles off the coast of Washington, oh. and remains, to this day, the only submarine casualty in American waters. Wow. 85 officers, as well as 12 army passengers, were lost. Wow. The propeller was recovered in 1962 and in 1965 erected as a monument to the heroism erected. of the brave men and women <laughs> who tragically <laughs> perished. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th. Uh, here you Come on. There you go. Oops. Well Clarkson done. Facilities Office. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Uh, <laughs> all right. You'd like her. She's uh tall. I don't. I don't know what tall means. Damn. They close up early. 
I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. Oh, I missed my opportunity. Sorry. I was trying to... Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, oh, speed yeah. redefinition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. No. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. Aww. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. Ren, you're taking too long. We are here long. to drink and be stupid. A tradition apparently started by board recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trolling. Uh-huh. Wow, that's actually kind of funny. Yeah, it's like kids at camp or whatever. Why so, do you keep stopping? Uh, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. And I'm gonna punch him. It's the weirdo caves. Go. Oh. Weirdo caves. Oh. But the beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the pits. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Okay, so I don't play computer games that often, so controls, maps, there, shift I'm is... I'm blanking on what it was, but it's not... I mean, it can't be too difficult. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. How many times are you going to say the that? the will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. Anyways, the town's youths keep the whole slink over and camp thing alive and well. No, 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 I, um, I, I got it. Uh, yeah, isn't this supposed to be like a giant swarming animal mask wearing freakout? Where's everybody else? Jesus, Alex, it's just supposed to be like a somewhat oversized kegger, and I think more people are coming. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo <laughs> he just caves. glitched. He just was up on there, about to jump over, and he glitched onto the ground again. That's funny. Weirdo caves. Let's see what's in these weirdo caves. Hopefully not hobos that like to wear those trench coats that are wee. 9 p.m. Oh, uh, oh I never before noticed we get that. There, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> oh god. Who's that? That's so there's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her. And I want her to be into me. So just, you know, just be cool. Okay. No pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Be cool. Don't be <laughs> like just how you can be sometimes. Jonas, where are you going? Oh, and, okay, Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Just uh, leave it alone, Ren, all right? You don't have to hear everything. I don't have to hear everything, but I want to hear everything. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Literally Ragnall, me. I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? Oh, about we're in each other time. again. Oh, well, that can wait. Look how hey, cute they are. We started are. a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you? Jonas. That's Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy, stepbrother. Oh my god. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Yeah, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you don't have to say it like that. Again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um, uh, her mom is marrying my dad, so, you know. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where is everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> That's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Ugh, come on, Clarissa. I'm fun. I'm hip. I'm no, with it. No, no! Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you, I just met. <laughs> yeah, I'm... Oh, sorry. I accept your apology. Asshole. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, slap that like button. And if you haven't already, the subscribe button. And slap two more to see you later. Bye!